back to another episode of the You Only Love Once Life and Business Innovation Style Meditations Yummy Conversations. I have Caesar back today from CaesarLife.com. <laughs> um, com. Yeah, back at it again. Um, yeah, so we came, like basically we just did an awesome video on my channel and we were talking about fear of judgment. A viewer of mine reached out to me and uh, basically had a fear of being judged. Mm -hmm following what it is that they feel is the path that they should be on but that fear is holding them back so of course reached out to Hani here and yeah we've come up with some steps in order to help if you're feeling in these uh same. So you're going to find out five ways so that you can stop judgmental people from stopping you from moving forward, whether that is in your life, whether that is in your business, whether that is even in the actions that you're currently taking. So the mm -hmm. voices of these judgmental people for throwing you off your path. So the biggest danger for these judgments and these people or listening to people's judgments or listening to your own judgments is that you will get stuck in your path right like you're not going to move forward you're going to feel like you just want to procrastinate you're just want to sink into it and you're not going to take that next action especially if it's something that's unknown and you're not used to mm -hmm. so in his channel we discussed that that person who had the fear of judgment was doing podcasts mm -hmm. and she or he didn't want to take that next step to do that because it was afraid that other people are going to judge them based on whatever they're putting out and maybe um, other things and when you're doing something different with your life and you're changing your life people are going to judge you right and if you keep giving into that then your motivation is gone and you're not gonna take that next action and you're gonna stay in the same place yeah so um, the first step we had we came up with five steps um, we for one need to like include them in the whole brainstorming because that in itself is like an awesome you've sort of got piece to of content. Yeah. You, you just go check it out on his channel because like that's how like we even thought about that problem and like mm -hmm. how we can dissected it and we literally like took it apart and like yeah. this is the very condensed version of like the result of that process yeah so the first step right we came up with is first identifying the root cause of that fear right oftentimes we just say yeah fear of judgment but we don't have what the root cause is so we're just like oh my god i'm scared but don't know what it is so the first thing that you want to do is identify the root cause of that fear so if you're feeling like you're stuck somewhere in your life identify okay what is that root cause of that stuckness and is it a root cause is something about fearing of judgment or fear of moving forward or whatever that is what is that base level thing that's holding you back yeah and then number two is that once you recognize like what that root cause is not only is it a surface level one but it's one that might be tied to a lot of your personality traits maybe it's tied to like stuff that has happened in the past that has really um like for the example, the example we gave in the other video was, you know, sometimes in the path, like this person was bullied because they were moving forward in that particular way, even though it was positive for him, mm -hmm. like the body feels like it's negative because they got negative repercussions. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so um, yeah, you want to be able to face it, right? Mm -hmm. So like once you identified what the root cause is, now you want to like take some steps to face it. Like one of the steps is bringing it up in a conversation. This conversation can be with yourself, like a legal notepad or your journal where there is no judgment. The only person that you're communicating with is yourself. So you want to just bunker down and just write out like, hey, bring it up in like a story format and see how you overcome it in that story so you can definitely use this as an opportunity to dive deeper give yourself a container because you don't want to stay in this facing it phase for more than a day or more than even an hour so but for that amount of time you can literally set a timer for 20 minutes or 15 minutes and you just let all of your insecurities out all of the judgments and literally just every single voice the part of you that's scared the part of you that feels humiliated the part of you that feels unworthy the part of you that feels you know um, i can't do this like any of those voices whatever negativity there is find a place the journal which is non-judgmental mm -hmm. or even you can do it with yourself and just let it all out whatever form you can because you can also feel it right have these emotions come through you wave mm -hmm. after wave after wave and yeah. then at one point you play out maybe even the worst case scenario. What if they do judge you? Are you going to just, you know, what is those worst yeah. case scenarios? And at one point you say stop, and and then you look at the next step, which is getting through it and overcoming. 
Yeah. So um, when you play in this scenario in your head and or like through meditation, writing it in your journal and nice when you how you overcome it is basically going to determine how you move forward. Right. So now you want to just sit and like, OK, I find personally, like especially when I like, for instance, off camera, we were talking about um, how like one day. Or the night before, I would just come up with an awesome idea. So I would just like chill, then go to sleep. And like the next morning, I'm going to take the, the first action um, on that idea, right? But then I wake up and I'm like, uh, man, like it doesn't hit the same way. Have you ever experienced that? Yeah. Like I, I wake up and I'm just like, I don't think I'm feeling it today, you know? Yeah. So now I'm like, all right, so what are those steps then i just play that cycle over right like identifying and then um facing it now is like um overcoming it so when you're in that portion right overcoming it you want to like lean towards because we put these columns on the board and you want to focus on the last two so the last two basically is taking action yeah. right so now this is part of the action process is us basically recording a video on this topic right so to move through it to move through and it. also like one of the other things i wanted to mention about the um the getting into it and facing it and overcoming it as well is that you don't have to identify yourself as those voices so even if you are in fear and you do feel like it's keeping you stuck you don't have to take on that personality and you don't have to sink into that version of yourself you can easily observe them as a third person which is what meditation does mm -hmm. right like we have so many videos on this channel 258 and more and then we also have the meditation channel like any of this meditation can help you process these emotions because these emotions of fear of being judgment is is a really real emotion it's tangible you can feel it mm -hmm. it literally stops you so you have to get them out of your system and that's what overcoming it requires it requires you to take it out and yeah. then you can have emptiness then you can now put things into that space mm -hmm. right so now that you have like that space that you're holding you can overcome it in a couple of different ways kind of going back to number three and one way is to meditate the other that we mentioned one way is to imagine you know if you were the version of yourself that can overcome this what would that look like and you just kind of play that out mm -hmm. you can write that out and then another one is you can think of another mentor or another coach or another um professional or someone who you look up to who who is who doesn't have this who doesn't mm -hmm. give a crap about being judged and then just kind of take on their personalities or the parts that fit you and you can just pretend that you know they're going through this and what that looks like and so you can move through and then we and then at that point then you can take that action which is number four yeah. right so we don't want to stay in these last three points just as you mentioned at too much you want to move into taking action and taking action you can take action in a couple of different ways you can first take an action like we were just doing mm -hmm. recording a video you can take an action going back onto your content marketing strategy you can take an action if it's if you're on your own business and it's like making that next call to your potential client um if you're at work and you're trying to look for a promotion you can mm -hmm. take an action of like writing that first outreach um or that first promotion request yeah. as a draft um, what yeah. other actions can you um, take so it's the other actions that we have it's like um it it depends on first of all it depends on like what that that root cause fear is right um, we also mentioned reaching out to a community of like-minded individuals mm -hmm. that'll like um, play as a safety net and you know even meditation is an actionable actionable step in itself especially if you want to be more self-reliant because oftentimes you know people teeter totter like hey I want to be self-reliant and not to be uh, uh, over invested in a community or bring this forth because that's part of that judgment so when you identify it's and you step out of yourself like step number three in meditation you'll easily you'll easily know exactly what sort of steps that you should take so ask yourself why right one of the questions that I often ask myself via meditation is like that why and then that answer oftentimes come through meditation and when you get that answer, you take action on that answer. Absolutely. So 
the last step is now that you have dealt with the judgments, you have really faced it, you've done this in a deep way because this is not a quick fix, this is mm -hmm. something that is more lasting and it's becoming a practice and a pattern, then the next step is to shift that focus yeah. permanently, right? Like the moment you realize that you know, you're off focus and that, <laughs> I would kind of like zoomed out earlier too, yeah. like, but the moment you realize you're off focus, then you wanna grab that focus back Mm -hmm. and you want to put it back into your goals yeah. and the goals are really important mm -hmm. because if we don't have strong goals then we're just going to piggyback our goals off of our daily lives and mm -hmm. that's just going to get shifted around based on whatever you're doing that day yeah. so you've got to really like what you do you know like just have that thing the day before or you what we do which is like having that bigger piece of goal that bigger mm -hmm. umbrella that holds all the smaller goals together so that you can always return back to that center goal return back yeah. return back keep your goals written everywhere like uh you know like those psycho movies yeah. when, or like the fbi like you recently did like a, a vision board right? yes so yeah. like if you haven't seen a vision board yet oh i should out. do yeah, yeah show you guys the, show vision the vision board. board like the vision board is basically like you have the goal or the, the goal could be like the crime boss right and then you just like identify all the people or all the things that's related to get to that one target so uh, go definitely go check that out. That's an actionable step and shifting focus too. Like Me get yourself like it. a big old. Um, I'll bring it over, but there's yeah. also like different ones. Like even on your water bottle, right? Like yeah. I have like literally like the goal of like what I want, like on top of it, mm -hmm. like on my kombucha, which is like a tea that I brew. Yeah. Um, I also have that, and like these are like different things. Like anywhere you can remind yourself of that goal. Like for my clients, I tell them to put it near the mirror where they brush their teeth, mm -hmm. like and teeth, teeth, yeah. and like anywhere. So like as long as you can stay focused and refocus, that's mm -hmm. your power. You no, know, that is awesome i'm gonna i'm gonna steal this hack too like um like putting that on my uh, water jug because i'm with that all the time so i'm yeah. definitely going to use that as like a source but definitely keep a legal a legal notepad and literally you want to be militant with this thing so this right? is the vision board that we created in that is. the last video about manifestation and that's really a way to capture the essence of the goal and so if you're interested in that you can check that out but what it is is that every time i look at this i get reminded like i clear my mind and just meditate on this and this is what brings me back to okay this is how i want to feel mm -hmm. you know when i get all of the goals that i've achieved yeah and and i do that on a yearly basis and um and it's really what it is it's that it takes you out of being afraid mm -hmm. and it puts you back into action and yeah. that's what we want action creating and living that freedom-based lifestyle that inspires you has you have fun along the way so it's not just it's hard fun work mm -hmm. and um and that you can live yummily yeah awesome man all so right hopefully that helped guys thank you for watching subscribe on both channels comment below which step that you like and maybe a way that you want to take forward some of these steps in getting you unstuck through judgment or through anything that has resonated with you here we'd love to hear from you all right talk to you soon Mwah.